Our major catchments in South Australia consist of surface and groundwater catchments. One of the biggest catchments is in the Mount Lofty Ranges and it supplies the city of Adelaide and rural communities. The catchment is really our first treatment bearer in the chain from water from the catchment to the customer tap. So if we manage our catchment well, it filters the pollution through its soils and vegetation. And so the cleaner the catchment, the less we have to worry about how to treat that water in our treatment plants. We only own a small portion of the entire supply catchment, so the land we own is right around our reservoir reserve. So our biggest challenge is working with other agencies and landholders to make sure they manage their land well and reduce the pollution runoff into our waterways. So we work with those landholders uh, to fence their creeks, uh, have alternative water sources and uh, manage their pastures and their land holdings. SA Water has 150 bores across the state. Uh, the majority of these are on the Eyre Peninsula in the southeast and uh, in the northern area of the state, extending upwards from the Flinders Ranges. Every bore is different, so one of our challenges is to make sure that uh, the customer gets a consistent water quality product every day. Surface water is water that falls as rainfall. We capture surface water in our reservoirs, Managing our water supply sources and making sure that they're free from contaminants is one of the first barriers in a multiple barrier approach to protecting public health. The community can help us manage water quality. If they live in one of our supply catchment areas, it's very important that uh, nutrients from fertilisers don't reach our source water. We take and test water samples in order to gauge the water quality of the source water going into the water treatment plant so the treatment operators can treat it accordingly. We collect various water samples from locations all around the state, from rivers, creeks, off pipelines, water treatment plants and also from customers taps and these water samples are analysed to test the quality of the water. Water sampling helps provide quality drinking water to South Australians by ensuring that the water delivered to the customers complies with the Australian drinking water guidelines. My favourite part of my job would be travelling around a state. Obviously we do a lot of driving but I've got to see many parts of the state that I wouldn't necessarily see working in an office or doing any other type of job. In South Australia there's a variety of different ways that we treat the water. It uh, includes desalination like in the metro space as well as conventional treatment plants and newer technology like membranes. So at Morgan the water treatment process is a conventional process where we rely on chemical dosing to have the particles throughout our sedimentation bays settle out on the bottom and take the clarified water off the top and put it through a dual media filter where we then disinfect and send it out to the customer. One of the biggest challenges here at a water treatment plant is um, the source water. We use an on-site laboratory where we make sure that the water is frequently tested. You could start the plant one day and have it run on the next day and the source water's changed and you're changing your dosing up or down. I love problem solving and at a water treatment plant, no two days are the same. I work with a dedicated team who's committed to world-class water services for our community. I believe that my name is on the water that goes out to the customers. As operators, we take a lot of pride in our work. There's a lot of job satisfaction. Disinfection is important because it's uh, the critical step for us to ensure that water is free of any pathogens that could cause people to become sick. We disinfect water using a few different methods. Chlorination, which is where we disinfect the water with chlorine. We use chloramination, which is a combination of chlorine and ammonia. And we also use ultraviolet disinfection at some of our sites. So here at Morgan Water Treatment Plant, we uh, were able to treat up to 2,300 litres of water every second. So I love my job because uh, it gives me an opportunity to make a real difference. It delivers a service that you know so many people rely on. We monitor disinfection using uh, chlorine analyzers at our chlorine dosing sites. We need to set appropriate chlorine dose rates to ensure that we've got the right amount of chlorine but without dosing too much chlorine and that allows us to continue to provide the best safe drinking water. The closed system does not allow anything external in. It is important we maintain a closed system to prevent contaminants which might be harmful to our health from entering the water distribution system. We maintain a closed system across our state um, by making sure that our infrastructure such as storage tanks, bores and pipelines are sealed and secure. 
The biggest challenges we face with managing a closed system is during construction and maintenance activities. For example, to prevent contaminants from entering um, when we fix a burst or lay new mains. One of the ways we prevent contaminants from entering our system is by making sure we excavate below the pipe before we do the repairs. By maintaining a closed system, we prevent harmful contaminants from entering our water supply and therefore are able to provide the highest quality drinking water to our customers. At our Adelaide Laboratories, we've introduced two new instruments that are leading the way in DNA technology, the Iron Chef and the Iron S5. They're highly advanced instruments that look at DNA in water samples. We'll be using this technology to detect vertebrate contact with the water, also native fish, and bacteria. The Iron Chef does what all great chefs do, it cooks up a special storm called the DNA chip. The Iron S5 can then read these barcodes and give us information about all the different kinds of organisms that are present in that water sample. This DNA technology enables us to test water more efficiently. It's faster, cheaper and gives us more information than our current methods. The great thing about this new technology is that we can get all the information from one water sample. Then we can tailor processes like catchment management and treatment processes. That will improve the water quality and the quality of our service to our customers. We have a biology lab here in Adelaide to assess the biological health of our waterways and also to identify any organisms that could cause water quality problems. And this information is used by water treatment plant operators at reservoirs to make any necessary adjustments to ensure that the water is high quality. So SA Water monitors water quality 24 hours, 7 days a week. The bacteriology team tests for bacteria and pathogens in water, wastewater and soils. We use many different techniques, including petri dishes with different types of agar and trays, and they produce all sorts of colours. Uh, we have an inorganic chemistry lab within Adelaide, so we can respond quickly to environmental and also health issues. Inorganic chemists here, they help maintain safe drinking water by monitoring different practices that is for the treatment process within South Australia. We have an organic chemist lab in Adelaide. We actually test for toxins in water and we do pesticides and disinfection byproducts. And we test for unknowns in uh, samples by doing scans. We maintain world class um, services and same time we are with the latest technology. Providing high quality safe drinking water to South Australians is our highest priority. So the way we respond to incidents is absolutely critical. So like all uh, water utilities, uh, we deal with a variety of incidents caused by a number of things. Sometimes things don't always go as planned. An example of that would be following rainfall events, um, inflows come into water bodies such as the River Murray and our reservoirs and often that can contain high levels of organic material and nutrients and that's really hard water to treat and can cause blue-green algal blooms as well. When an incident happens, that becomes our highest priority. We will always ensure that we are liaising with the Department of Health so that they're comfortable with what we're doing and that the risk is being managed. Um, and I think the other thing to note is that we will always do a root cause analysis for any significant water quality incident. The role of SA Health is to administer the Safe Drinking Water Act. As a drinking water provider, we adhere to the Act and also its associated regulations. It's important that SA Health and SA Water work together for a number of reasons. Firstly, the more transparent and open and honest that we are, the better assessment that SA Health can make that our water is safe for our customers. Working together closely also ensures that we meet our health obligations in a way that also keeps our prices for customers low. SA Health assures that we provide high quality drinking water to our customers both by assessing our water quality management processes and also verifying our water quality data. What I love about my job is working every day with water experts who are passionate about ensuring the safety of our drinking water for our customers. So Take the Tap Test is a blind tap water taste test. We have five waters from around South Australia. Four of them are SA water tap waters, just taken from random locations around SA. One of them is a bottled water which we've purchased from the supermarket. We then ask if participants can pick which one was the bottled water and which one was their favourite. And then we don't leave them empty handed, we go through which water was which and why they taste the way they do. We also find that most people cannot pick the bottled water when asked to identify it. We have about 61% of people that completely pick the wrong answer and only 21% of people that can identify the bottled water. It's important for us to offer Take the Tap test so we can answer all your questions about water quality and we can also help you understand what it is we do at SA Water to deliver safe, clean drinking water and of course to find out what it is that you like or conversely don't like about your drinking water. And we can also help inform you and let you know why water tastes the way it does. 
Research is important to prepare us for the future, to stay ahead of the challenges and provide the most uh, cost-effective uh, solutions for our customers, uh, not just for today, but for tomorrow. The water industry has problems uh, with water quality management, uh, selecting the best um, water and wastewater treatment processes, but also uh, picking the right infrastructure and uh, uh, asset management. But we also look at uh, things like finding alternative sources of water, uh, recycled water, desalination, uh, understanding uh, what our customers want in terms of water quality. And we also look to the future challenges of things like climate change and the impact on uh, how we run our business. We work with uh, all the major water utilities around Australia because we have common problems, but we also work with uh, all of the local universities and water companies uh, around the world in countries including France, uh, USA, uh, Taiwan, China, uh, Austria, Brazil, that's just to name a few. Research collaborations allow us to get access to the very best expertise uh, to solve problems that are bigger than just South Australia and then we can uh, be ready for the future to make uh, the right investment decisions when we need to.